Hello friends and welcome to Figure Study, where today we are taking a look at either Mechanic Studio or Mech Fans Toys, probably both. MS-20 Iron Sky, their take on a roughly Legends, or I guess Legends Plus sized Astro Train. And this guy is very cool. I actually have the gun plugged into the top there just to show that it can be done. I'm gonna take that out actually, but the way that that plugs in is uh, you basically wedge it in here. There are these uh, these little tabs on the insides here, and these little slots on both sides of the handle of the gun. So you just kind of slide it in there and close all that up. And that is how you attach the gun in train mode, and it just kind of sits there and looks silly. Anyway, this train is tiny and adorable. It's very Astro Train because you know it's purple. One thing that's kind of disappointing about this versus the uh, MS-18 deco on this guy, which I don't have, I've only seen pictures of, but I like how the MS-18 version of this guy has a bit more detail that's painted in. This version, there is some, like the gunmetal that they put along the sides here and the little windows, but there's really not a lot in terms of paint deco on the train. And that's a little disappointing. I kind of wish that maybe the wheels were painted or maybe the bits around the wheels to make them stand out more. There's more stuff in there. I feel like this would look better with a little bit more paint detailing, but there is lots of molded detailing, as you can see, and some very, <laughs> very nicely detailed and extremely fake looking wheels. They even have this little uh, cow catcher style thing in the front there. And the smokestack, it's a little small. I mean, I know this is meant to be evocative of the G1 toy slash uh, cartoon. So there are lots of weird design things like wheels on top of the roof here and like what could be a wheel there. The smokestack is kind of tiny, but that's a little bit mm. I like these gray bits showing on the side here, a little bit random. But uh, given the size and the surprisingly effective simplicity of this, it's more just nitpicky pointing out a couple of things rather than things that I have any real issue with. Really, it's just wishing that they had done some more detailing along the uh, sides of the train, maybe in the front. But this is just a, a train stick, so <laughs> I'll just put that off to the side for size comparisons, because there's not much else I can really say about it. Here he is with the standard deluxe crew bring this up a bit. There you go. So you can see that uh, he's bigger than uh, Legend scale, I guess, but still pretty tiny. Here he is with his official character representation that uh, came out recently, that is Siege Astro Train. I guess this could interchangeably be Earthrise Astro Train. I think they're both pretty much the same figure, but yeah, this is the current Astro Train that we've got. And here he is with the duck tank. All right. Time for the Astro part of this Astro Train. Pretty straightforward, but yeah, let's do it. Okay, quick thing to note, I screwed up slightly when I transformed this guy into his vehicle modes before and I missed a couple of flaps. So this is what the train mode looks like with the flaps in place, which you can't even see because they're up in here, so they're kind of hiding behind the faux train, but that's how that looks. And here is the shuttle with the flaps folded up like they're supposed to be. Those are right in here, so they kind of fill in this area a little bit, make it ever so slightly cleaner, but it's still not super necessary. Like, you get a little bit more of a gap in there, but it doesn't really do anything for this section. So yeah, that's how the shuttle looks when it's properly transformed. And here we have Iron Sky showing off the sky part of that whole thing. Real quick, just to get the accessory stuff out of the way, he does come with actually two guns. That's one of the weird things about the train mode. You can peg one gun in, but you can't peg in both. But you can also peg the guns into the shuttle mode, into the sides here. And those just plug into the 
peg holes as you do, and then you can have the shuttle with the two guns. And the thing that kind of annoys me about this is the train can only do the one gun, and it looks fine with it. The shuttle can do one or two, but it looks way better with two because then it's more symmetrical. It just kind of bugs me. I just, I wish that there was either a more symmetrical way to store the gun in shuttle mode. I mean, I guess you could plug it back down here and have an underslung gun, but then it would like wobble. Or I wish that there were a way to store both guns in a symmetrical way on the train mode, but it's fine. But anyway, this shuttle mode is pretty spectacular. There are some things that I kind of wish it did a little bit better. One main thing being uh, these hip skirts can move up and out of the way, but as you can see, they uh, pop out. I kind of honestly wish that this figure did what uh, Siege and Earthrise Astro Train did, which is flip the hip skirts up to cover up the kind of six pack or whatever you want to call it. Like if there was just a way to mask that off, I think this would be great. It's Astro Train's shuttle mode, so it's definitely awkward looking, though this is a lot less boxy in this section and a lot more, I guess, evenly proportioned going along than the uh, Siege version. It's just this area here. I kind of wish that could be covered up, but you can't, because as you saw, if you try to move the hip skirts up, they just pop off. So these hip skirts do not move very far. I definitely like the look of the shuttle. It's very cartoony. And the detailing here I'm fine with. It doesn't feel as not detailed as the train, because you've got a lot more color breakup with the gray and the purple. In the nose section here, you've got the purple, the gray, and then the translucent yellow for those windows got this little kind of boxy two-tone detail painted in on the inside-out train wheel flaps. Very gray along the top, but you do get a little bit of color here, which I know I said I would prefer to have covered up, but it does break it up a little bit. And then along the wings, you've got that nice purple kind of border around, or trim rather, around the edges. The coloration here is better. I like this a bit better than the train mode. I think the train mode would look great if it had a little bit more color mixed in with all that purple. I also think it's cool, and I've always thought this was cool with Astro Train, how he flips upside down and turns inside out, sort of, between his two alt modes, so you end up with a primarily purple train with gray detailing, and then a primarily gray shuttle with purple detailing. I like how he mixes up the colors like that. The tail fin's a little tiny, but it's also a space shuttle, so who cares? And then you've got those enormous metallic boosters on the back, which were on the back of the train mode and are iconic for Astro Train's nonsense uh, train mode, but I like it. I think it works well here. This is a pretty cool alt mode, and here is where those wheels that were weirdly uncharacteristic on the uh, top of the train now make more sense, because now they're on the bottom of the shuttle and help to keep them not scraping the ground. I mean, it doesn't actually roll, it's still just solid plastic, but eh, it's fine. Anyway, let's put the teeny tiny shuttle off to the side and bring in more size comparisons. Compared to the standard deluxe crew, you can see that it's pretty much the same size. Like, it gets a little bit longer because now the nose is sticking out and gets an actual wingspan, but that's about it. And of course, when I say kind of tiny, I mean that as an endearing quality, not a complaint. But here he is with Siege Astro Train, and you can kind of see what I was talking about with regards to how the... Uh, Proportions of the shuttle bit are better with Iron Sky. They're just a bit more uniform going all the way back. Whereas uh, Siege Astro Train is kind of a mess. Just like it's super boxy, like it's narrower up here, but then super boxy and then gets really narrow again. And it's really strange, but that's also part of that toy's charm. Yes, as you can see, Iron Sky is much smaller than Siege Astro Train, but cleaner and a lot brighter, not covered in that gunk. And here he is with the duck tank. Alright, two modes down, one mode to go. I'm sure you know which one that is, so let's get right to it.
At long last, there we have Iron Sky in his robot mode. I can't believe I forgot about the little flaps, but they don't really make any significant difference in either of the vehicle modes. But uh, this is kind of a fantastic looking Astro Train robot mode. It's got pretty much everything you need, including the wings and back booster. The colors are great. The deco is great. Again, I think the uh, MS-18, I prefer the color scheme on that just because there's like a little bit of more color detailing in a few places. But I think this is meant to be the more tune referential version, which had less detailing, I think. The one thing I will say about this guy with regards to his transformation is you're supposed to turn the head around in order to, uh, to do it, and it just does not feel good at all. I feel like I'm going to separate something or break something. It just kind of rubs a lot against the, uh, the shoulder wheels up here, and it just does not feel good to do. And just a few more nitpicks, I guess, since I'm already nitpicking. He could use better heels, because he really doesn't have much. These bits back here, you can see it's kind of like a semi semi-circular, not really circular, but it's like a curved shape down here, so he doesn't really have much for heels, which is fine, it's just it can be easy for him to rock back. Also, I wish that these were tighter. They do peg in, there's like a tiny peg and tiny slot there that allows them to peg in for the train mode, but there's nothing that pegs them in for the shuttle or robot mode, so this is just really easy to knock out of place. And lastly, the arms are definitely restricted by these wings. They're very, very close to the back, so you can't really bring the arms back at all. You can, thankfully, kind of hinge things around, the wings, unfortunately, they do rotate, but they can't really rotate with this in the way back here. But this part itself can move back, so you can kind of hinge that back to move that back, but then it looks a little weird. The arms are a bit restricted, but I do like how the wings have these extra joints where you can kind of bring them out more, or a lot more, <laughs> which I guess frees up more arm articulation, but... Uh, yeah, I like how you can get a little expressive with his wings. So that's one nice thing about the wings being the way they are. Just uh, would have been nice if they weren't quite as restrictive. But with all that being said, this thing looks fantastic. As I mentioned, it looks great. I do kind of wish that he had something more akin to the MS-18 paint scheme with just a little bit more detail here and there, like I said. But what is here is fantastic, and I really like the color breakup, how he's got this like primarily gray body, but there's little hints of purple here and there, and then that nice metallic red in the abs. It's a very Astro Trainy vibe, because he's very boxy, he's got the kind of cube chest, and then of course the wings in the back, wheel shoulder columns, very Astro Train. Detailing wise, barring a few examples, it's pretty much all the stuff that we saw in the alt modes, so like the detailing up here we saw in the shuttle mode. The feet are the bottoms of the train cowcatcher, so that's a clever use of parts. The thighs are new, but there's really no detailing on them. You just get the very obvious knee joint. There are the hip skirts that I was talking about before that are, well, I guess that's another nitpick, the fact that the hip skirts can only go up that far, so you don't really get much in the way of leg moving forward articulation. You really don't get much going back either, just due to the geometry of things. Decent out, though. The hip skirts are also a bit restrictive. This thing, yeah. There is more of that ab detail that we were looking at before. And there is the cube chest, as I was talking about, and the shoulders that have these kind of circular details, which again, I think is kind of like a cartoon detail, possibly toy detail. It's whatever this is meant to evoke, because I know the shoulders between this and MS-18 are a little different. Then you get a little bit of purple on the outside, which was used to semi hide the arms in train mode and also a little purple on the bottoms of the forearms for the same reason because it kind of rotates around that way and i think that's a pretty clever solution given the size and uh, engineering limitations due to the size that this guy brings because you don't really notice the purple when you're looking at him in robot mode especially from the front and when you rotate him around it doesn't look out of place the wings are the same as what we saw before the back booster is the same, the back of the wings are just the train flaps, all stuff we saw before. The head is the, I believe, cartoony Astro Train head, which is more of like the dome helmet and that yellow mohawk. Very nice kind of 
slightly grayish white face and those very piercing metallic red eyes. Very nice, very nice sculpt. It's a fantastic looking tiny astro train. He's just a little bit limited in places, but he's also small and relatively affordable, all things considered. And you can, of course, give him his guns. I kind of think it'd be cool if there was a way to do something with these back here, like possibly holster them or something, but I don't know that there is one. But you can plug them into his hands, so we'll do that. And there we have a tiny Astro Train with guns akimbo. I think traditionally Astro Train only has one rifle, but it looks better with two rifles in shuttle mode, and <laughs> I feel like I'm griping more than I really should because this is a really cool figure. It's just a uh, little nitpicks here and there. Anyway, let's do the last of our size comparisons. Here he is with the standard deluxe crew, and he is definitely tinier than a deluxe, though not so much tinier. This is like, uh, I'd say small deluxe size more than legend size, because this is rather tall for a legend scale figure, but uh, I'm not a scale expert. I'm not a price point expert. <laughs> I just call him as I see him. But he is a comparatively tiny Astro Train, which I think is adorable. As I said before, him being tiny is not a complaint. I think it's great. But here you can see him with Siege Astro Train and I really like the robot mode on Siege Astro Train, and I think he does a great job with what he was given, but I have to say I like the brighter color palette on Iron Sky. I mean, this is supposed to be, I think, like the grimdark version of Transformers, as grimdark as a Netflix exclusive cartoon series can be. But yeah, when you see them side by side, this looks so much more vibrant. It does make me kind of wish that they went with a lighter shade of gray and a lighter shade of purple for Siege Astro Train. He still looks great, and he still has a great silhouette, great detailing and all that, but the colors are a little bit dark and muted now that I've got this to compare it to. And here he is with the duck tank. And that is going to do it for Mechanic Studio or Mech Fans Toys, whichever you want to call it, MS-20 Iron Sky. This is a very cool figure that has some limitations like you can kind of see as i'm trying to pose him the shoulders are kind of getting caught up with the uh the backpack wings he's definitely got some issues with regards to his engineering not what i'd call a uh, horrendous deal breaker or anything like that but he could he's not going to win any awards for flexibility i don't know where i'm going with this he's very cool though limited yes but he's also tiny and inexpensive, comparably. He's like 35, 40 bucks, depending on where you get him. That's not cheap, though it is cheaper than this. I think the only real issue that people might run into with this guy is the fact that he's small. He's not meant to be something that you would put with your siege stuff, because he would be so tiny, <laughs> which is fine. And I mean, the cartoon played really fast and loose with scale anyway. I think this more would fit with like the, the legend scale type stuff. Just for the heck of it, bringing in a couple of my other legend scale third-party figures, like Iron Factory's Burning Slug or the Magic Square video team, specifically their version of Viewfinder, you can see that this scale works a little bit better. But I've ranted long enough. You know what I think. I've said it so many times now. Hopefully I'll cut some of that out. But I'm interested to know what you all think of this guy. Whatever your thoughts, feel free to chime in down below. I always enjoy hearing from you all. And remember, art is more than meets the eye.